This kitchen just got a complete overhaul. And the beige color of the countertops doesn't really go with the newer, more contemporary look anymore. Instead of springing for pricey new countertops, upgrade the ones that are there for under $150. That's right, we are going to paint those bad boys. The number one most important step is to have the countertops completely clean. Scrub them like crazy and allow them to dry before moving on. If there's a gloss on the surface, a little sanding wouldn't hurt either. Tape off all the edges that don't get paint. This paint does not budge, so getting it on the sink would not be very good for the new look. Bonding primer is the key to making sure that this project will be successful. This primer is tinted gray because the final countertops are black. A velour roller is great for this project because it minimizes air bubbles. Apply the first coat of primer thinly and evenly. Use a brush for tight areas like around the sink. Make sure the area is well ventilated when using this primer. It does not smell the best. It also dries very quickly, so work in small areas and only pour out what you need from the court. Apply two coats of primer before moving on. We let each coat dry a couple of hours in between. The next coat is jet black. Most types of paint will work for this, but oil paint creates a more durable surface once it's dry. Keep those windows open and fans running while applying this stuff too. We let this dry for 24 hours in between coats. After two coats of black, it's time to get creative. Sponge on small portions of the black paint to add a bit of texture. This gives dimension and a real stone look to the countertops. Once that's dry, add some veining with some gray chalk paint and a small artist brush. Paint diagonally and spin the brush. This gives a more natural vein look. Immediately use a dry brush to mix in the veining. Chalk paint dries very quickly and works great for this faux finish. It helps to have a photo of marble to reference while doing this. Just keep adding layer upon layer of paint until it has lots of texture and only hints of veining, like the inspiration. Keep sponging, veining, and adding layers of gray, white, and black until the counters have a look of marble. Once everything is dry, use a velour roller again to apply polyurethane. Add it thickly at first, then smooth it out in different directions to get any brush strokes out. After two coats of poly, this project is done. This is an easy way to totally change the look of a kitchen on the cheap. For more information on this project or any of the other projects we did in this kitchen, go to DIYNetwork.com.